Okay, this closet <laughs> haunts me in my dreams. Oh my gosh, this is so much stuff. I want to talk about a decluttering roadblock, actually two decluttering roadblocks in this video. In this closet are all our homeschool supplies that are not presently being used. It is my dumping ground. It is a hundred times better than it was two years ago. Um, and so like this here, all homeschool. Cabinets here, one, two, three cabinets, six drawers, all homeschool. Packed to the gills. And I have 15 baskets upstairs on my Ikea Calyx that is homeschool. So just too much stuff when two thirds of my children don't even read yet. I have done many rounds of school supply declutters and this is what I'm down to. So I'm proud of that fact. I'm going to acknowledge gratitude for the last two years of progress not perfection, and that I am arriving here today uh, far improved than I was two years ago when it comes to keeping stuff. Uh, it's still a, a difficult, to, uh, it's still a roadblock for me. This closet, every time I think about getting in here, finding something or getting rid of something, I'm filled with dread because of the decision making that's behind it. The decluttering roadblocks for me for this closet are guilt, for having spent money on stuff we're not using presently, uh, and I don't have a plan to use in the near future, and volume. The volume of stuff in here absolutely stops me in my tracks and puts up a roadblock on progress of decluttering. <laughs> I've I been thinking about this closet for months. If I'm being honest, for months, this has been a roadblock for me because I want to live with less stuff in this closet. It has become a problem. It doesn't fit. This is my boundary for school supplies and now they live in boxes outside the closet because it doesn't fit. And this is my boy's bedroom and that's not how I want them to live in their home and certainly not in their bedroom. So I'm making a change for that. Thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this segment of the video. My eight-year-old uses Babbel to learn Spanish. In fact, he loves to take the lessons, learn the vocabulary, and then at restaurants, teach us what <laughs> the vocabulary is. Hola amigos, welcome to Spanish with Esteban, the series where we dig deep into Spanish language topics and the history and culture that go along with it. Here are some jarritos. If you've ever been to like a Mexican restaurant, probably you've seen these. We like Babbel because it is teaching my son practical language, real world conversational Spanish. This kid is learning and teaching his family. So that's why we really like it. it. The lessons are short, they're only 10 minutes long. I think you could try Babbel and see what you can discover. There's lots of languages to learn and that could be a really great goal for you in 2022 or for your kids. You can get 65% off your Babbel subscription using my link in the description box below. And now they're offering a 20 day money back guarantee. Thank you to Babbel for sponsoring this segment of the video. I need an inventory. I don't even know what I have. So I want to create an inventory as I declutter of what I've chosen to keep. Um, I need a pathway for getting rid of stuff. So I have a homeschool co-op group. I have local homeschool groups, homeschool groups. I have Facebook marketplace to give stuff away for free. I am letting go of any financial attachment, stepping into this because I need that to not hold me back. I have the guilt that I need to deal with and take it in sections and set a timer. And that's how I'm going to tackle the volume. I'm going to tackle the guilt as I go and try to uh, accept it as I go, seek forgiveness in myself and give myself a little bit of space and grace about past purchases that I made years ago. These are not things that I have necessarily purchased recently. I have gone through a lot of iterations of financial guilt and here I am now still facing it with what remains. Decided that a 15 minute timer is a really good starting point for me. I'm hoping that it either creates momentum or motivation to keep going. Okay. When, when I start doing that, when I start talking myself down about a project like this, 
I, I have to immediately switch it off um, and change my mindset or I'm going to fail. It's just how I know I work. So I have to immediately think positively and spin this around to find some spark of motivation or momentum. So I can do this. I have been decluttering for more than two years. I have muscles for this. I can do this. It's just stuff. And when I open that door, it doesn't make me happy. It actually makes me really unhappy. And I don't want to feel that way anymore. So what do I want it to look like? What does the done look like? Um, I, I, I want to open the door and know how to shop by subject. I want to know all of my science options. I want an inventory for my science unit studies. I want an inventory of the math that we're working on, the materials I have for math and language arts. Those are our big buckets. Um, and then I want an inventory for all the other subjects. So I want to organize by subject and I want to keep by subject that is relative for this year or next year, not beyond that. Okay. I can do this. 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 Okay. I just need to, I just need to figure out how to... <laughs> Maybe I should clear myself a path. Maybe that should be the thing. Like access. I don't even have access. I'm gonna start with this shelf. It's it's my eye level and I, I can do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, this is an empty box. Science, science readers, science readers, okay. This is the curriculum we are currently using right now. These are just the next series of books um, for my five-year-old and my six-year-old. So these are keep. Just, wait, I didn't even give that thought. Okay, start up. okay. History, government, grades four through six. Uh, no, no. No, okay. this is a unit study I made on Mount Rushmore. I'm just going to shred these. It's been sitting, we haven't used it in years. So I made this years ago. I'm going to shred this. Okay. This is Mouse and the Motorcycle from Brave Writer. I don't want to have to print this again and I would use this. So I'm going to just, I'm going to set this aside for now as a potential keep. Once I've assessed kind of everything I have going on there, then I'm going to decide what to do with that one. Okay. I have absolutely no idea why I bought these. I don't even remember buying these. Stones. I probably bought these as counters. And then marbles. Oh, I brought this. I bought this for a painting project that we did. Oh. We use erasers as counters now. I don't need this. And marbles. We don't need marbles. Okay, these are all those books that belong in that empty box. Sight word, level one readers. I am going to keep all of my early readers because I have my six-year-old who's learning to read and then my five-year-old is behind her. So I am going to keep all of my early reader stuff. Story of the world. This is history. Did I keep anything for history yet? No. We're doing okay. Look, we made a space. Grammar tales. Okay, there's eight of these somewhere. Okay, this is more history. Okay. We're missing some of these books. Um, I'm just going to donate that. We'll probably trash it. Because <laughs> we're missing it. And it's with scientists. This is a book that's written in. Um, this is this is trash. Okay. Alpha tails. Oh my gosh, I forgot I have alpha tails. Okay. This is just recycle stuff that we've used in the past. We don't need. 
Uh, this is my son's filmmaking notebook. All right, cool. Now we're in some, some supplies that I would want to keep. Space and the solar system, that's our unit study right now. So I'm actually gonna take this downstairs for my second grader. Word letters, my second grader like, likes this. I'm gonna keep this for now. Okay, I have a lot of language art. Mad Libs, he likes these and we're reviewing nouns and adverbs and verbs and all that good stuff. So I'm just gonna actually take that out as an activity book to have it like gymnastics when he's waiting for his sister. Here's a Mazes book. A five-year-old would like that. Okay, geography. This is a geography magnetic puzzle. Um, I don't have a board big enough for this and they do it on the fridge and pieces slide under the fridge and it's annoying. And I already have a USA puzzle downstairs. This is gonna be donate. I have all the pieces. I always have to dig them out from underneath the fridge. We're doing good. Okay, this is shred. This is a completed book that's tr trash. Okay. These are just some old Moffat Girl pages. I'm just, I'm gonna recycle that and keep the folder. Okay, this one's used. Oh, this one's done. <laughs> Why did I save that? Horizons Preschool Book One completed. Okay. All right, we're doing okay. Kindergarten workbook completed. Okay. Why, why was I keeping these things? Math, Horizons Math Book Two. I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile. It's not, it's just like fun activity. So I'll take that downstairs because if I don't use it, I should just get rid of it. What is this? Time and money. This says time and money, and there's tiles, a math game, more counters, coins. We've been playing marketplace recently. Um I'm gonna take this whole thing downstairs. This is all something we're working on presently. So that'll be great. I can get behind that. Look at that. Maybe pile. And then that, this is the rest of keep. Here we have trash. Here we have giveaway. It's a big giveaway. We're looking really good so far. Okay. We did one shelf. Okay, we're getting there. This is possible. I can do this. Absolutely no way I can pull everything out and put it on their beds or the floor and deal with it all in one shot. I just, I know I won't do it. It's too big of a project. And if I pull everything out, then it's just gonna really mess with the boys' room and I don't know when I would get back to it. So I don't wanna do that to them. So I am now, I've made decisions on one shelf. Now I need to put this back on as my keep i'm gonna sort by subject as i go then find the right way to organize an inventory i'm actually going to take this downstairs with our art supplies Language arts supplies so far, including the readers. Here's a start of science. I'm gonna organize by unit study. That's a Bible resource. And then history resource. Okay. I don't know. Okay, these were interactive science notebooks from last year that we started, but we didn't finish. My kids didn't enjoy them. Um, they didn't enjoy the cutting and the pasting. The lessons were too long. So we've moved more towards uh, experiments and just read alouds and discussions and videos and questions and hypothesis and just kind of taking it from an observation and experimental approach instead of 
papers. So I'm going to throw these away. Okay. This is the one we're doing right now. He's just on uh, 3B. So we have the next set in there. This is a thing about time, which is good for all three kids. It's just a little like read aloud with some cards. So I'm keeping that. This is Spanish, keeping that. So when I have an inventory, I'll be able to shop here for him when we start a discussion about fractions or we get to fractions inside this curriculum, then I can come up here for my fractions resources. This is a this is a guilt roadblock for me right now. My daughter started out with Horizons math. She didn't like it. She wasn't learning from it. So we switched to kindergarten with confidence and now she's on first grade with confidence as a six year old and she's doing really, really well with that. My oldest loves worksheets and work problems and word problems and all that stuff. She does not. My youngest loves worksheets. So for me, I'm gonna hang on to this until I know he doesn't really want it or it doesn't vibe for him. He's doing kindergarten with confidence and really enjoying it, but he will sit and do seven worksheets in that book, like seven lessons by himself. So he might really dig these and I may break those out for him when he's done that book. We'll see, we'll see. And then I added to my language arts pile some things I had up on top. Okay, so I've got math, Spanish, history, Bible, science, the start of science. Most of science is downstairs in our library. Uh, and then language arts. I did great. <laughs> Look at the top shelf versus the bottom shelves. I did great, I did great. I'm doing okay. So I've got my, oh, my piles are blending. Giveaway, trash, shred, recycle could probably tackle this pile that's been sitting out so it's not in the boys room anymore which I'm gonna do I'm not there's no probability about it I'm gonna do it this is our social studies curriculum right now so I'm gonna keep this I need a new section I need a new section I'm just gonna put it so that's the, the, yeah. all right more science we just finished this unit study Add that to the science. I'm gonna call this health. Oh yeah, in Maryland I have to teach health. So I'm gonna call this health. Ugh. I have a need for more piles than I have space. And the last thing, more readers. arts is going to need its own shelf. I'm going to have to do that. Math and language arts are going to need their own shelves. And then hopefully everything else I've decided to keep will fit here. Not hopefully. That's my goal. That's what I'd like to do. So I feel great about those top two shelves and what I've chosen to keep. I feel great about what I chose to get rid of. I went over my 15 minutes because I set the timer, but I feel good. I'm also feeling emotionally drained and would like to call it. <laughs> I will keep going and keep sharing. So I'll, let's call this video part one of dealing with decluttering roadblock. I still have those over there. Maybe that should be my next thing. I just, I have to make space to even deal with those. I mean, where, if I decide to keep them, where am I gonna put them? I gotta keep going. But I'm respecting my own emotional boundaries and uh, we're gonna call this part one. <laughs> Subscribe for part two. I decided to keep the space book. That's our science unit study right now. This is all of our space stuff. So I'm just gonna tuck that in there.
we have homeschool co-op once a week and I put a message out in the group. Would anybody be interested in this stuff? And they said yes. And several people said, I have stuff too. I would love to give away. So I'm bringing all the things that I decided to give forward. And then also this puzzle. My kids have outgrown this puzzle. And so I'm just going to give it to a younger member of our co-op. And just put this box on our picnic table during co-op. And anybody can take whatever they want. Right now I'm keeping construction paper underneath our cedar chest in our dining room. I do need to figure out a better solution. And I keep making a mess with that paper. And then, oh, math practice. I'm gonna pop this into my second graders school bin. This is our school cart. Thank you for watching and here's another video.